welcome to Games Master, where we're sometimes asked, instead of all that modern video game computer work of setting claptrap nonsense, why don't you feature traditional family board games instead? Well, we don't because they're cack. Cluedo is a game set in the Tudor Mansion, which only serves to exaggerate the class divide already in existence in this country. Scrabble, a farcical affair where the word pants only gets you a low score. And worst of all, Twister, an infantile thing where the people that you're playing with often end up falling on top of you. Now where's the fun in that, I ask you? Not nearly as much as there is in today's show. Nice ladies, Emma Noble and Debbie Flett, whip themselves into a frenzy in Final Furlong. But we begin with an event we call, Oi Bloke from Another Country. Are you starting? For the hardcore arcade gamer, Tekken 3 is the king of beat-em-ups, boasting a depth of gameplay that's made it a hit not just here, but in arcades all over the planet. For today's challenge, we've assembled the greatest Tekken 3 players in the world to decide once and for all who is King Tekken. From Norway comes 24-year-old champion Oysten Andersen. Oysten runs an arcade in Oslo and actually owns a Tekken 3 arcade machine at home. For the last week, Oysten's been off for to practice for what will surely be the fight of his life. The United States is represented by Jeff Shu, who spends 5 to 10 hours a day playing Tekken 3. At a recent championship in Las Vegas, 20-year-old Jeff trounced the opposition. Will he do the same here? From Japan, the home of Tekken 3, we flew in 21-year-old Sho Haraki. Sho claims to play the game for enjoyment rather than to win, but this hasn't stopped him becoming a legend in his hometown of Tokyo. Fighting for the home country, 18-year-old Ryan Hart, an ice cream bar attendant by day, by night a regular winner of national tournaments. Known as the best Tekken 3 player in the country, he's earned himself the nickname of The Terminator. The stage is set for the first international tournament ever. The champions have assembled, only one can win. The winner will be decided in a league of six matches. Every challenger will play everybody else only once. Each match will take the form of the best of three bouts, with all game options set to their factory defaults. I think my champions are ready, so <laughs> let's get going. So, please welcome her from the four corners of the world, the greatest Tekken 3 players on planet Earth. Ryan Hart, Jeff Shu, Sho Haraki, and Oyston Anderson. Brother Jeff, brother Oyston, welcome to the show. Show. Right, Ryan, uh, let's start with you. Um, why? What is it about Tekken Three, uh, the whole Tekken series of games, that you think makes them better than other beat 'em ups? Well, when, when hits connect, you actually see the blow, you actually see the spark, you know, you, you feel the solid hit. Mm. And no, not really many other games have done that. Yeah. You know. Jeff, you're from Berkeley, uh, yeah, California, yes, which I think, if, if I'm correct in thinking, it's the, the only place in the world where you can still legally walk around naked. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I think they might have uh, made a rule. Uh, have you, have you tried yeah, it? Yeah, after. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't say I have, yeah. <laughs> now, Oyston. You talk to other Tekken players on the internet and you think that helps you learn the psychology of how to play? Well, probably. And um, another problem is that I have no one at my skill level to play in Norway. Yeah. And, uh, and finally, show obviously in Japan, a little bit crazier than, than, we, than we are here. Is, is there like thousands of people playing Tekken in Japan? Yeah, about 5,000 uh, 5, people playing in Tekken. 5,000 people playing. Yeah. Uh, Okay, this is probably the biggest tournament we've ever had on Games Master. We're going to commence with it now. The first match is going to be Great Britain against Norway. That's Ryan against Oyston. If you'd like to take your places by the machine, gentlemen, I'll go up to the commentary box. Helping me to describe the action for our Tekken 3 World Championship is Mr. Derek Lynch. Now, people have often asked me, why is Derek Lynch qualified to talk about beat em ups? Well, put it this way, we actually played each other earlier on today. Derek beat me without even looking at the screen. <laughs> that is how good Mr. Red Hot Lynch is. Uh, right, okay, we are going to be running a league table throughout this competition. The league table is going to be uh, written thus. How many games have played, how many games have won, how many games have lost, and then we're going to add bouts for, bouts against, so we've got like a goal difference as well. If you're familiar with football, this will make total sense to you. If you're not familiar with football, 
then your life is very, very empty and uh, you're probably not worth talking to. Three points for a win, zero points for a loss. <sighs> let's get started. Okay, Ryan and Oyston, let's get it on! So Ryan is playing as Paul in the red pyjamas on the left-hand side. Oyston playing as Hihachi in the camouflage pants on the right-hand side. Energy bars are at the top left and right of the screen. You can see Ryan's one is down very low already. It's a great start by Oyston playing as Hihachi, Derek. That's right. Uh, Oyston using some special tactics there. And really confusing Ryan, but Ryan's coming back. Some yes, come on, both. That was great, Derek, wasn't it? Oh. One more hit by oh. It's both one. It's one nil to Ryan. We can see in the replay there, it's a fantastic punch to the stomach, the head finished up by a flying kick. A fantastic comeback there. Okay, about two then. About the Oyster de Sahachi must win. And it's interesting to note that the, the blue sparks, the blue smoke, are defensive. It means blocked. Yes. If you see a red, if you see a red pop of smoke, it means they've connected. A blue pop of smoke means it's been defended. Both of the players quite low down in energy. It's a very, very close thing. But Paul oh. is in the lead now. Oh, no, it's a great bit of a comeback from Oyster there. It's a lovely spinning kick. And that's it. Oyster draws in level one. the final deciding about Ryan as Paul in the red, Oyston as Hihachi in the camouflage of Pansu. Good start by Paul Hihachi, fast quite low already, Derek. That's right. Very good defensive techniques on both sides. They That's really right. are sizing each other up. All the blue puffs of smoke, they are not taking energy off because they've been defended. But that one got through, Derek. Oh, and the oh. spinning one has a good little combo. Paul in trouble now. Right. Oyston's looking for, for a good combo. That's he's, he's running away, he's running away. And then coming back in. We thought Ryan was the favourite. We could have an upset in the very first fight. Oh. Ryan is down. It's Oyster has definitely seen the best in this fight. But we, we're running oh. out of time. I say, oh no. Ryan is down. And they're running out of time. Oh. They're going to the very first game. Oyster takes it. one nil to Norway. Okay, the next right. fight then, it's, uh, it's, it could be another classic. Japan against the USA. Best of luck, Jeff. And uh, show. let's get it on. Okay, so Jeff is playing as Law in the yellow jumpsuit on the left show, playing as Eddie with the massive big afro and the blue flary <laughs> denims. And it's a great start by, it's a great start there by Eddie actually, it's a great start by Show. That's right, he's really putting those big white shoes to full effect with the capoeira style, which means he'll, he'll do cartwheels and great dancing, which really does confuse the opponent. Yes he does, okay, so, uh, I don't want to look at Eddie Jamal, that's the first fight to Eddie Tiger, that's the first fight to Show there. <laughs> Fantastic display, a so, great finish there, Derek. So it's truly using the confusing tactics of the Capoeira guy, Eddie. Okay, ready to say goodbye now. It's about the Jeff as well for America must win, but it's energy bars point the ready, but it's a very good fight back. That's America in the yellow jumpsuit against Japan in the blue denim and afro. And we can see it's America winning this one. We can look at the energy bar, the top right corner of the screen. It's going down, it's quite low, it's definitely, oh. it's one all. Fantastic finishing combo there, Derek. Right, yeah, that's what they're going for. They're aiming to get the opponent up into the air and then do the combo. Before he ever touched the ground. Right. Okay, <laughs> final decision about America okay. against Japan. America in the yellow, Japan in the denim. <laughs> it's anyone's going, oh, great! Oh, what the fuck? Look at that energy bar applause. It's gone right down, Derek. Very powerful throw there. Really just tap the energy. Right out, but he's come back a little bit now there. And it's quite even, but it's a great fight back from America now. This may go either way. After round one, we can see that Jeff and Oyston are tied at the top with their one win and a bout difference of plus one because they won both the bouts 2 1. And equally, Ryan and Shaw are tied at the other end of the table, no points for a minus one bout difference. It's Great Britain against the USA. And next up, this is a match that Ryan really has to win if Britain is going to have any say at the top of this World Championship table. We wish you the best of luck, Ryan and Jeff. Let's get it on! Okay, so Jeff is playing Nina on the left-hand side, she's a girl, and Ryan is playing Paul on the right-hand side, he's a bloke. It's a much better start there. Oh, oh no, but it's not a throw there, it's America actually in the ascendancy, Derek. That's right, he's using the, he's very defensive and blocking, then went for a throw. Oh, but that's a great double punch, double kick combo there from the UK's fighting heart there. That's right, the energy's right low. Oh, energy's right low, it's about one to the UK, Ryan, one them up. We look at the replay, again, it's double punch. Yes, thank you, Derek. <laughs> okay, uh, bye bye. Who then? Jeff, USA, and Nina, the girl on right. the left hand side, has to win this to stay in this match here. But again, right. those punches and. That's oh, right. That's the oh, the massive one. Paul has moved right there.
Good. <laughs> Pull him down to the ground. Okay, but look at the energy bars there. The leader's energy bar is low. No, but he's just got a couple of kicks. No, but then Paul's oh. got one still. This could be Fred taking this two down. America in big trouble here. That's right, Ryan. You, oh, he's been the And that's it. He's finishing with a throw. Ryan back in the pit. The UK wins that one 2 0. UK. Okay. 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 <laughs> right then, okay. The next fight, Oyston against Show. Let's get it on. Okay, so Norway, Hihachi, right hand side, topless. Japan, Eddie Tiger. Uh, kind of pant short, bicycle short thing. Right. Okay then, right, but look at the energy back. You can see Hihachi's is low down already. Oyston in trouble this time, Derek. That's right. Um, Japan, you. Oh, hey, I, I, oh, yes, Oyston loses that one. No, Short right. comes back with the first one. 1 0 to Japan. Okay, straight in there. Straight into the second bout here. Again, oh. like the other fight, the person who lost the first match is now winning the second match. What a competition, Derek. Oyston using. Oh, shows. You can come here. It's unbelievable. And Clean it's a third minute. It's a single minute. It's a very, very quick match. Short comes back from his first. single one of our competitors has now won one match. That means that bout difference is going to come into play. We're going to look at how many individual bouts they've won. We're going to sort out all of that and you will find out who is now at top of the table after this week's Celebrity Challenge. Since, alas, it seems this is the last challenge I'll ever set, I prepared something really special to see us out. The arcade horse racing sim final furlong. On the perverse, plastic thingy, my two contestants must race each other to the vicinity post on the one mile track by furiously pumping the reins of their hapless nag. Right, well, let's get ready for the off. We've gone for the fantastic integrity again to play this horse racing game. Please welcome from player cards by Brucey's favourite girls, Debbie Flett and Emma Noble. Yeah! Do you have any experience with them, Debbie? Um, well, I've been horse riding. You know, I was bucked off horses when I was about You were what, 14. I beg your pardon? Bucked off <laughs> horses. Right, okay. When I was about 14. Uh -huh. And that's the only experience I've had, so I'm hopefully yeah. nothing like that's going to happen today. Uh -huh. Debbie, have you been to the horse racing or anything like that? Yeah, I've been um, to horse, ride, horse racing in Canada. Yeah. And I've also been to the dogs as well in Wimbledon. <laughs> the same <dogs>. sort of thing. <laughs> I'm betting. And uh -huh. I'm going to the dogs. Yes. No. <laughs> it's just been that happen. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it's commercial break time. Remember, in the second half of the show, we are going to have uh, the final of uh, the World Tech 3 Championship, as well as these two semi professional horse riders. We'll see you <laughs> after this break. <laughs> Debbie Flett and Emma Noble are about to play Final Four Long and we're joined by the most serious of Games Master Call Competitors, Mr. Kirk Ewan. Kirk, it's the final time we will stand together in this box. How do you feel? Well, I'm not sad about it because quite frankly I think it's time that you loosen your Fagin-like grip on me <laughs> and I won't have to do any of these nighttime service fees for you <laughs> anymore. So, yeah. Now, as far as uh, horses go and these uh, electronic ones in particular, yes. what tips have you got for the girls? Well, I mean, the basic tips here are not, not, not to bolt out too fast. You want to be adopting the right position. It's very difficult to, to show you this. But you I wanna, can see it, though. You right. want to be getting kind of, yeah. you know, this going. Now, you, did you, I don't know if you caught that, but that's what you want. If you get that and you just keep it tidy all the way through the race, then you've got a chance. What we're doing is we've got a one-mile race. Whoever's first past the post, we'll go away with our final ever celebrity golden joystick. Best of luck, Debbie. Best of luck, Emma. Off you go. Okay, the horses just all Debbie Fletch in the white one. Emma and Noble they're off. Well, when they're off and they're coming up, I'm going to stay with Emma. With uh, Debbie Fletch, first of all, you can see Debbie Fletch. And ahead of her, you can see Emma Noble. Emma Noble is in the lead and sneaking away, Kurt. Emma Noble's in the lead. You're absolutely right. So we're four lengths ahead of That's only two lengths in Dominic Diamond Terms. But she's four lengths ahead. Just wait. And maybe a bit of chance to use the whip. But the energy is still staying good. And she's got a nice little lace lead there, I think. Yes, if you go by the Debbie Fletch one, as you can see that Debbie is now in the lead in the wilds, but she's going too fast. She's going to run out of energy and the fact, let's go back to Emma, so is Emma Kurt. Emma's also 
also going too fast, but you can see her fine F line limbs pumping away there like madness. Absolutely beautiful to see this in action. It's Ellie Gilbert just about halfway through the race, and if we stay with him and it was Mona, we can see the Debbie Flay at the white ahead. It's three up furlongs to go, though, but Debbie Flay is still in the lead. We're still with him as Mona. They better really use the whip that shot. They've got to use the whip as fast as they can. They've got to get those old nags going as fast as they possibly can. And she's overtaking him. Him and over. She's overtaking Debbie Flay. But Debbie Flay's coming back in the way. Whip it good. Awesome whip it good. Whip it good. One more furlong. Let's do it. It was very, very exciting to watch. Fantastically exciting to watch. <laughs> now, if we could talk about the race. Now, uh, you, you did all right, actually, there, Emma, but I think you got beaten by a, a very short length. I got beaten by a whip. <laughs> yeah. She started oh. whipping me. Yeah. <laughs> She's always doing that. She's so uh -huh. out of control. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. This is great. Actually, I have to come up with any windows, but this is fantastic. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Was yeah. it very tiring? Well, I'm quite competitive, you see, uh -huh. and I, I'm, I was actually possessed. I don't know if you noticed. Yep. Well, I was like, yeah, Debbie, let's have so, some fun. Well, and Debbie was like, no. <laughs> the thing is, you, you, you say that you were possessed, Debbie. So was I at one stage. I went quite rigid. <laughs> Yeah. And it was, uh, I'm glad that we have that effect on you, Dominic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to miss the show. That's I'm going to miss the show. <laughs> Let's award the final celebrity going against Master Joystick 2, Debbie Flett. <laughs> We've still got the final of our Tekken 3 World Championship to come. That's after today's news. For the nation's 1.9 million PlayStation owners, the game of 98 will be Resident Evil 2. After well over a year of development, the title's finally complete and we've got hold of some exclusive footage from Japan. The new game comes on two CDs and is a massive eight times bigger than its predecessor. The action takes place in Raccoon City, which has been overrun by, yes, zombies, hungry for their dinner. The basic style of the game remains. It's a usual mixture of puzzle solving, boss bashing, general carnage, but with improved graphics, sound and a variety of new weapons, Resident Evil 2 seems set to make the original look about as scary as Parappa the Rapper. Released in Japan in a couple of weeks, infuriatingly though, we won't be getting our hands on it till spring. It is now time for the final round of our Tekken 3 World Championship. It quite literally could not be closer if we take a look at the league table now. We can see that Ryan and Shaw, who were bottom of the league after the first match, are now top of the league. All the players have got three points, but if we add up the amount of individual bouts they've won and take away the ones they've lost, Ryan and Shaw have a plus one bout difference. Jeff and Oyston now have a minus one. This makes our final two bouts very, very interesting because Jeff from the USA and Oyston from Norway are in effect playing to avoid coming bottom. Right. It's all there. It's all very, very tense. Jeff and Oyston, let's get it on! Okay, we can see Jeff has Nina on the left-hand side, Oyston has Ahachi on the right, Jeff's in the coat, and, uh, sorry, Jeff's in the purple hot pants. Oyston is in the big old man's coat, and it's a great start by Jeff, by American Nina there. That's right, he's using the technique. Oh, oh but great uppercut! Oyston, Oyston, Oyston again! Fantastic cover by Oyston! He's getting him in oh. the air, Derek, again! That's right. And oh, and Oyston we... takes it! Oyston takes that first bang there! Love a little spinning low leg kick there, Derek! Watch out for that spinning low leg swoop. America has to win this to avoid coming for them here. We've really got a hold of great fight back from Jeff. He started okay, but then punches aren't having much effect, Derek. That's right, because Oyster is using excellent defense. And he's going to come back. Oh, no! His defense is... is he won. made a couple of things. It's got a fair defense. Yeah. It's a fantastic save of fight by Jeff from America there. It's now tied at 1-0. Finish it with a great uppercut. It now comes out at this bout to see who's going to get the wooden spoon there. Jeff, America on the left hand side. He's the girl. Oyster. <laughs> Game for the World Championship, Great Britain against Japan, Ryan against Shaw.
Let's get it on! Okay, Ryan is playing as Paul, right hand side, red outfit. Shaw is playing as uh, Eddie Tiger Boy, uh, left hand side, funky pants, purple black outfit. And it's a great start by the UK's Ryan now. No, it's not. No, no. Right, actually, no. Oh my <laughs> god, it's Japan now! Yes, it's right. But it's quite even now, it's quite even. Anything can happen. Okay, it's, uh, it's a fight punch. Go! Great punches there! Hammer! From Ryan! Oh! Okay, Shaw has got to fill this bag. That's He's right. got to win oh. the stand. Oh, what a pretty good throw that Excellent down. throw. Comes in there. He's got to the fold over the leg sweep. Now, Ryan has to come back from Hammer Punch. He tried it, but no. Oh, it's all Japan, Derek. He's playing a bloody thing by this time. He really is keeping the pressure on. He but certainly is. Look at the edge of the top round speed. You can see Ryan's in the top round. is very low down. But there's excellent defense on both sides. Oh, that's a great triple kick. champion a fantastic final match were you worried at any point in the fight if i play again i think um, other people will win yeah that's, that's very yeah. magnanimous of you yeah. okay let's move on to jeff now you finished second it was just that defeat against orion then in the end that cost you the title i mean i played horrible in that match but i give ryan credit he played better than i did you know i froze up i'm happy with the way it turned out yeah. overall. it's great now ryan hart um, what happened, Ryan, in that, in that last fight? Were you surprised by the combos that, uh, that the show was throwing at you? Uh, not, not really. I just didn't use as many moves as I could have used. I just used really basic stuff. Oh, so why? I'm not sure. Maybe it's because you're worried, you know. Yeah. Uh, finally, Oyston. Do you think that the fact that I mean, Norway never do very well in the Eurovision Song Contest either? Is, is there a relation between Eurovision and Tekken 3? Probably not, no. <laughs> Probably not? Oh, well, it's <coughs> worth a try. Uh, this has been the final piece of challenge action in the history of Games Master. I think it's fitting that it's probably been the best one we've ever had. I would now like to present the Games Master Golden Joystick to the official Tekken 3 World Champion from Japan, Shohiraki! <laughs> is our final proper normal challenge games master as such because next week is the final show and it's going to be a moist eyed look at the past seven years i can assure you it will be gayer than tiptoeing through the tulips on a hot summer's day in jacobean times please don't miss it it's your last chance for fun in a dull dull world bye bye